and bonsoir to the monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays EU4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with France. And following on from a pretty successful round of wars, I'm just thinking because we're considering Britain, we should start making more claims on Spain. Scottish Particularist, lost a general. The Commonwealth wants some land back. No, that could plunge us straight back into a war if they decide to attack. I suppose we will find out. Where is our main navy? It is here. Right, okay, so we're building a bunch of extra ships. I think that is probably our. This one's probably our British army. So let's send this ship to London. So we're going to want one in Britain, unless Commonwealth attacks, of course, in which case we're going to want them out of Britain pretty pronto. And we're going to want to move them to Napoli. But not straight away. Attacking Brazil, that's fine. They're attacking a coma. I really hope they all know what they're doing. Okay. New technology, not complaining. So yeah, let's move you down there and review onto Napoli because they're probably more able to cope with the size of the army. So the Ottomans are still going strong on Spain with the help of Tunis. We have stopped helping because they've been very little help to us and we had to secure Naples. So we're basically going to be slightly on tenterhooks until Naples opinion of us becomes positive which will hopefully not take too long military intervention I don't mind having a claim not promising I'm gonna do anything with it but it might come in useful so Quite a lot of our claims on Great Britain are getting a bit old, actually. We've got the important ones still, though, haven't we? And we don't actually have Spain anymore. They do have the Papal State, so we also need to start making more claims on the Papal State, for which we're going to need some diplomats. So what are they all doing? Holland, Zimbabwe, Spain and Japan, right. Okay, so basically we're not going to be moving that fast. Uh, what options do we have for Holland? Well, let's go for Zealand for now. how soon we're likely to want to attack Holland given that the Commonwealth is currently the Emperor so it's looking pretty formidable again as the Emperor oh my goodness they are making headway into the Ottomans as well that's worrying spy in Zimbabwe has been caught right in that case let's stop spying on Zimbabwe because I'm not sure how many more we actually need down there and let's start on the Papal State again as soon as that particular diplomat gets back go get the rest of the troops for Great Britain what you thinking about it you could really do with a general just in case things kick off with Naples again. We 
We do have a lot of recovery to do anyway. Manpower is severely depleted. War exhaustion should be fine. That's going down quite fast enough. But the manpower is a problem. So we don't, we don't want to be making war immediately anyway. We are of course also running out of time. <laughs> I kind of like to play these as if they were going to go on forever. So I'm not too worried about that. slice of life. The life in this case being in the French Empire. Okay, I'm going to diplomat back so you can start building a spider work in the Papal States. Still uh, half inclined to free Wales rather than conquering it. Even though it doesn't make sense from a game point of view. Uh, it's just, you know, playing as France. It's just funny. <laughs> Anything to just stick it to the English. Plus, you know, I have Welsh friends. <laughs> but we'll see. Not really how you're supposed to play the game. I tend to partially play it as role playing, though. It's more fun that way. So have we finished some ships? I'm sure we had some with smaller build times. Must be these, I guess. Guess that's... Managed to pick up some trade ships there, which we didn't really want to do. Probably going to be far too much effort to remove them now so maybe we should just make another trade fleet it does look like we could do with some more transports down here just want to get these seven people and take them down to Zimbabwe not really sure what to do with the colonial nations at this stage not colonial nations the um, colonial armies can't really use them until we carve a path through Zimbabwe. Possibly what I should have done is taken some provinces we didn't have claims on. Which might be an option. So like if we do go to war with Zimbabwe again, we should have a claim on Zimbabwe itself. But maybe if we try and take these, they'll be harder to call because I don't think we can claim them because we're not adjacent but they would get us through to these lands and then our colonists would no longer be sat doing nothing it's one of the problems with having no dlcs with dlcs the colonists have things to do even when all colonizing has finished nice golden figurehead we made Together, so how soon are we losing claims? 1800. Yeah, we don't have long to attack Great Britain. We may end up having to remake those claims, to be honest. But can't be helped. What we should probably do is spin on time a bit. Which colony? Right, it's not Alaska, so we won't bother. Diplomatic insult. Our Spanish spy was detected. That's very annoying. Just thinking while well, I remember, let's get this piece of land as well. Don't really need it, but because we've already got a claim on Safala. It's nice to complete the set. Oh, brilliant. So we've developed the rifle. I think that 
is the second to last. Oh, brilliant. Chief of Mercenaries. Also useful. That's probably the second to last military technology. How it's being the final one, so. to worry too much about being outperformed in terms of military tech ever again basically okay so we've got more free deckers which is good because if you remember we did lose a naval battle last time admittedly from now on we should have naples on our side which will help although I mustn't assume that because we're still in the Tower of the Woods yet, we nearly are. Final humanist idea, tolerance of heathens. And we should probably just check if there are any decisions. Guild privileges, I would rather have base production and we'll worry about the unrest. Hopefully the humanist ideas will help with that. So let's just check this, because this could have unlocked some really good ideas. So what do we actually have? That's actually a terrible, well not terrible, but not amazingly good idea. These are all to do with settlers, which are not very useful right now. That's useful. Uh, hmm. I guess that's useful. Okay, so what do we have? Yearly Prestige. Useful. National unrest also useful. Income from vassals. I don't know whether that includes colonial nations. Also, we're not short on money. Let's go with the prestige one first. And maybe the less national unrest, because that will be helpful. Looking here, trade power abroad sounds good. Diplomatic relations, we do have too many of those. So that's an option. I think there's a few more of these though. Morale of navies could be useful. Global trade power and diplomatic reputation. Actually, that's always good. We always want diplomatic reputation where possible. So I might go for both of those. But yeah, we'll take the other diplomatic relation as well. Because that kind of pays for itself. So we think those are maybe both good. Are there any others that would be good? Well, there's another diplomatic reputation, so why not? So is there no other one of these? Income from vassals and foreign spy detection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was Great Britain for a second. Let's go for the income from vassals. So we filled all of these out now, so they're going to be costing us two monarch points per month, but the benefits generally do outweigh the drawbacks. Okay, brilliant, so what are these? We've got a trade fleet, a very small one. We also have an East Indiaman, which should be part of this navy. So you should be doing something. Well, you are doing something, you're just not moving. I'm going to tell them to protect trade in Alexandria again, simply because it gets them moving. If I can find Alexandria. Must not be considered a very valuable trade node anymore. But yeah, some kind of bug. They go to ground during a war and then they won't budge, even though technically they're still operating. Anyway, right, let's go and get you reasonably sure that Naples isn't going to break away now. They've got a positive opinion of us. So while we've improved relations as much as we can, we're also over time going to lose the ill effects of having declared a war, all the aggressive expansion we've got from all the expanding we've done. 
having been at war, force them into a union. So the amount we're actually gaining by is enormous. So we don't need to worry now. We're fine. We've got them. We have permanently got them. Right, we were supposed to be improving... Not improving, we were supposed to be... Converting these people? 1805. When does the mission run out? 1810. So we're fine. We don't need to worry about that. It's just a bit annoying because it's locked us off from doing any of us. But then the other options weren't very good either. So, okay, let's move you to Picardy. Because that's probably where I will send the fleet from Napoli. Decker, so you can also get some Picardy. So, what else? Manpower's recovering a bit, but we need another army. See so if we can afford them, we can definitely afford them. I would like an army in the Americas to start with. So we just head over. I'm wondering about these Central American areas. Okay, so there's a lot of places that can take 42, there's one there that can take 56. So if we had an army that was, say, 30 infantry and 20 artillery, nice round number. Nobility are planning to rebel. Oh, great. It's annoying because it might take down some of the troops that we had handy. But at the same time, we do have a pretty solid army now. I think we're looking two to one against these people. So, no particular reason why we should stand for this sort of thing. Uh, what do we have? Okay, these are three deckers again. Because I think we're no longer landing in Picardy. But we'll send the ships there anyway. Spain is no longer a valid rival. I have a feeling that's happened before. I suppose we should revoke the embargo for now can we revoke the embargo or are all our diplomats occupied oh no hardly any of our diplomats are occupied okay do we have any good alternative arrivals just the ottomans who like us so no thanks lot less helpful of late but they may still come in useful plus they're probably about to become a bit more powerful with conquering Spain which they clearly are doing so in fact let's start improving relations with them yeah we've started losing our claims on Great Britain so we'll send another spy I didn't realise how accustomed I'd got to uh, seeing the diplomats. Oh, there they are. I didn't used to have this screen over on the right. But it's become quite useful. Okay, Japan. Let's make another claim. You've done Udi. I was thinking it'd be great if we could kind of bridge the gap between the mainland and this colony here. Okay, Papal State. So, same deal. We will... Nope, that's not what I want to do. I want to fabricate a claim here. What's the other option? Oh, Padua. Right. 
I'm not as keen because we'll definitely be treading on the toes of the Empire. But at the same time, that's life. And they didn't attack us last time. Right, you head over to Picardy for now. We will get the remaining troops to join you, so it looks like we need two more transports, but I think we've already got two more transports over here. Nope, we've only got one more. Okay, let's make one last transport. And we're going to... Oh, to assemble this army in preparation for sending them over to the Americas. I just want to have a permanent presence over there, and while we could do a mercenary, it's more useful pulling mercenaries in as needed. Okay, who else? Holland. Holland again. Well, okay, let's just check over here. I was thinking it would be nice if we could make claims on these guys. Can we claim this? We can. Just want to improve French Canada a little. Hmm, Finland. I did not realise they were there. And we also got another Spanish one. Okay, brilliant. Aha! Lay on. They have no allies, so in theory we could just go down, conquer them with imperialism. That was a bit mean. <laughs> and um, possibly vassalize them? Put us on too many diplomatic relations again, but I think it might be worth it. a sort of little mini war. Yeah, we don't have any war exhaustion to worry about anymore, do we? Oh, yes. together. 67, okay. I'm usually a bit more cautious about making armies because I'm worried about overdoing the amount of money we need to pay for them, but we're so far ahead still. It's gone down a bit though, to be fair, so you can tell. But yeah, the main thing is to make sure we don't go above the limit, but we're in no danger of that either. So on the whole, I'm not too worried. Might make another trade fleet for South Africa though. Imperialism. Yep, yeah, let's do it. We don't have a truce of them. So I'm thinking they're probably big enough to be worth fossilizing. Which I think we should be able to do with an imperialist agenda. We could obviously just take the land as well. <laughs> I suppose some, in some ways vassalizing seems a bit less mean. Plus they could well come in handy next time we're up against Spain, who are getting severely crushed here. But I assume we have a truce with Spain at the moment, so we're not likely to be able to take them on for a while. 
Yeah, there they are, 18.02. Not for much longer, to be fair. So if we did want to take advantage of their new found weakness to take their colonies, it would be an option. and 10 artillery. So that gives an army of 50,000 men who we will send to the Americas and hopefully have a go at some of the Central American countries. Because I'm worried that not only might our colonies struggle to take them, they might then struggle to hold them. So if we have a permanent presence there, we can help deal with rebellions and such like as well. Nice and quick. There we go. 100% war score, so I'm going to suggest that they might want to fancy being our vassal. making war quite happily so we need to head back over there shortly and send the diplomats to improve relations because at the moment they're going to hate us for forcing them to be a vassal but really I mean not to be harsh but how long are they going to last anyway they're right in the middle of Spain Spain will have a reconquest Casas Belli are the Ottomans going again oh no Brazil oh Brazil makes a comeback drop. New king looks okay though. That's not bad. Not amazing, but slightly above average, which is good. In fact, considerably above average thinking about it, because you can have zeros as well. So three would be dead on average. Three, three, three. So, yeah. Okay, not considerably, but considering we have no control over what we get as a rule. Do we need this diplomatic reputation? Would it be worth us going for a plus three? I don't know, diplomatic reputation, reputation is just useful, like when we're taking countries and things. I'd be interested to see if Brazil can make a comeback. Revenge on Spain for conquering Portugal. Guessing that our other claims in Great Britain are going to run out soon, so I'm not going to make any new claims until they have. What else do we have here? Papal State. Oh, yeah. Uh, East Tax Burden. We don't need the money. Okay, Spain likes us. But we're going to have a bit more on the rest. Only one more claim on the Papal State, that's fine. Might improve relations with Naples again. Still pretty heavily improved, apparently. 
Okay, why have I only got 49 people? I'm missing... Oh, there we go. I'm just thinking I'd better give these guys a general if possible. You can have that one. But let's let the infantry catch up first. So who's actually disloyal? All right, an ability. Fair enough. Not a huge amount I can do right now. One other thing, I do want to just check. Are, are all our castles up to maximum? They do seem to be. Okay, that's fine then. Right, let's send someone down to Nodongo because they don't seem to like us as much as they did. Which is just heartbreaking of course. We still have a bunch of claims, do we not? Shrewsbury and York, we still have. Starting to question if we want York, but uh, <laughs> we definitely want Shrewsbury, so let's just leave it for a bit. Okay, let's load you up. Across the ocean blue. good air but who knows we may never have to actually deal with them mage 40 eh, maybe Florida why are you not doing that well have a bit of money at least Yeah, we can just do imperialism, I think. I don't know if we really need to worry about building a spy network. Inflation, okay. He this advice will leave stability, or we could gain inflation. I don't mind heeding it. We can instantly boost our stability. Because we're down to one now, plus one. Basically, the lower your stability is, the less expensive it is to boost it. So I often, once we're in a fairly powerful position and we've got admin power to spare, I tend to boost it if it goes to plus one or below, but I leave it at plus two because events will often raise it. So they're kind of wasted if you don't... If you boost it manually to plus three, the events are often wasted. If we have a ton of admin power, I would probably boost it anyway but otherwise I wouldn't bother right rivals Bengal thinks we're a rival fair enough I will rival them too seeing as Spain is not having a good time oh maybe I've turned it around not to worry oh yeah so I should also trade embargo them worried um, I am not short on prestige at the moment so I don't think I will worry about it okay so we should have three trade embargoes we do good Commonwealth is still the Emperor that's fine 
So yeah, we've still got a fair old fight on our hands if we want to fight Bengal. They're not the obvious people to attack over in India. Although if we attack Malwa, Bengal does get pulled into it. And we don't have to worry about Transoxiana. But these guys, we only have Vijayanagar to worry about. So they might be a better option. On the whole. Nonetheless, I've got so many spy networks at the moment. In fact, I've got so many spy networks, I think I'm actually am going to change for the spy master over here. Because it will give us a plus three and it will also allow us to actually make more progress on all these spy networks we're building. It's Holland again, isn't it? Actually, we are going to be able to make another claim, surely. Maybe do this one. So can we make a couple of claims right next to French Canada, so they'll hopefully actually get those, instead of Florida getting even more. And uh, maybe we'll make a few more claims actually over here to increase our own size when the opportunity arises. Okay, what else do we have? We have a spy network in Spain. So I'm wondering if I might go a bit further with French Canada by claiming this. Only this turns out to actually be Spain, so that's not happening. Okay, how about... French Alaska versus California. California is quite big. So maybe we should fabricate a claim that will almost certainly go to French Alaska. And kind of using this to kind of direct where our claims go, where the land goes if we win. So if we declare war, Comus, yeah, they're quite big, aren't they? But at the same time, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe we should synchronize that with another war. So maybe not do it right away. Thrall revolutionaries, okay. Well, hopefully Terror Thrall can cope with that. guys still hate us. Oh, royal marriage. Let's do it. Should bring us up a little. No, we never actually got around to sending someone, did we? Did me getting distracted. a bit of a lull for a while. Where are we up to? We have room for more army and we have room for more navy. So let us build more free deckers down here. I'd really like this navy, our biggest navy, to be relatively on the At least we don't need to worry about free deckers going out of style. Right, what else? We've built some more transports down there. I did want to build some more trade ships. Doesn't have to be huge little trade fleet just for South Africa because I have a feeling that I. Oh, maybe it can be huge. But I incorporated one into our fleet.
Creep the knights and Horstic. Okay, we lost our claim on York, that's fine. Amazing allies, do they? Maybe we should seriously consider going for Spain. Oh, okay. Spy discovered. So, let us reclaim here. Oh, right. <laughs> That's it, apparently. Fine, but we'll start making claims in Great Britain anyway. Very tempted to attack Spain while they're weak, although also very conscious that we haven't got as many claims as I would like. But I suppose we could say, tell them to let go of Louisiana or something. Even take the whole of. Oh, Tierra Austral. That would be a good place to. Um, Insist a handover. Yeah, I'm suddenly realising this would be another place where we could really do with a decent army. Okay. Let's at least start building an army of sorts. Catholic zealots in Sutherland. really feel like Scotland should be able to deal with them, and they are actually Catholics anyway, so it shouldn't be that big a deal. What on earth are you guys doing? Brazil's tiny. How could you have lost so much land? Uh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This army doesn't necessarily need to be huge. But if we could at least start, because I think the Siberian army is pretty much locked in Siberia now. So. Well, extra presence down here might allow us to take a few provinces, or at least help out against Spain if we have a fight down here. Which the other question is, where is our navy? And it's up here. Which is fine. I'm just thinking realistically. We probably want this navy to be down there. Where all the water is. Tariffs on wool, not Alaska. So, not going to worry about it. Let's send you down to French Moluccas. And then we might be able to help with this as well, because I don't really like this revolutionary idea. going who has the high liberty design oh Florida right okay Right. 
Right, yes, I think we definitely need to go and help them. Don't like the idea of revolutionaries succeeding. Who knows what that might lead to. So, let's make a new general. Oh, nice. Three star general. Things are improving. Let's make a new general as well. I'm not our second biggest fleet now. Probably going to look towards calling that a day. So, not the uh, most fascinating episode, but I suppose after last one, after last week, can't really be helped. Did need to rebuild quite a bit. Definitely wanted to improve the size of our armies, and of course, we have to regenerate manpower, which every time we build new troops has gone down again. Plus, we're losing a bunch of our claims and things. So yeah, definitely worth having that spy master, really. But anyway, let's go and put this down. And hopefully that will leave us in a much better position for next time. Albeit five years closer to the finish, which is 1821. Jump. Well, it doesn't look like they were coming down to do it anyway. Yes, yeah, so lost our claim on Shrewsbury now, so I think that was all the claims we had. Which should reduce the cost of new ones, which is kind of what I was waiting for. Uh, researching revolutionary ideals, okay. <laughs> we'll defeat them through stealing a bits of piece of, idea of, of their ideas that we like. So that's given us more governing capacity, which allows us to turn more areas into states, which is good. This has kind of been going on in the background all game. But it generally increases the stability of our empire. Coral. Okay, we can't, but we're making progress. We might actually be able to make a claim with 25, but it's just to be below 25, so too late. That's fine. It's also fine. Okay. getting all the pieces in place for next time. I want to send a diplomat over to Florida, I think. Because they have this high liberty desire business going on. We're ready to go on Central America or indeed to help out with anything else in the Americas, which is good. <laughs> That's gone up to 53 now. The uh, supply limit tends to go up with technology as well, which is one reason you need to keep increasing the size of your armies because everything just gets bigger standard like you know in the early game a 30k army is unstoppable in the late game it's pathetic basically okay so we should try and make claims on some of these areas as well especially see them because we have a we are rivals with them but we could also consolidate our claims on these islands starts making claims on Vijayanagar. Yep, just so many options. Far too many options. But let us improve relations with Florida. And I think we have room for some more claims on Holland. Possibly make a claim on Den Haag. 
up as well. Okay, that's fine anyway. We should be quite close to finishing this mission finally as well. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no, we're as far away as ever. That's annoying. Uh, can we accept any more cultures? Probably only really Castilian. Which is obviously an option. I'm just wondering what, what culture is this? Clearly not Castilian. Not accepted. Culture. Hmm. That's actually a two percent. I'll go with that one. What's the worst that can happen? Not actually sure where they are. Probably hasn't helped with that in the slightest. Nope, hasn't. But we'll just keep going regardless. Eventually that mission will be over. I suppose what we would do ideally is try and get a... a missionary? Not a missionary. Well, not a theologian. There's definitely someone who would help with that, but we don't have them. And I think we have a cheap philosopher, so let's keep the cheap philosopher. That's fine. Anyway, right, I think I'm going to call it there. Sorry it wasn't tremendously interesting. Hey, we've got Leon. <laughs> but um, that's pretty much about it. The rest of it is more manoeuvring and preparing for next time. But I haven't entirely decided what we're going to do. I'm hoping that whoever we go to war with as our main show will also go to war with these people. And I think, I don't know, Spain's quite a realistic possibility. A little bit of free decker that I somehow missed. And we did actually want to send these guys on a trade mission. To, I was thinking, Cape of Good Hope. That's right, isn't it? Down here? Yeah, because that's where I think I accidentally pulled the other ones from. But apart from that, yeah, I mean, spies keep getting caught, which doesn't help because we're trying to make claims and things. So unless we're planning to attack Holland, which is unlikely because of the massive Commonwealth, with Sweden as its, I don't know, Denmark as its allies, Sweden as its vassal or something. I'm not that keen to mess with the Empire anymore, and we have so many other options, it just doesn't seem worth it. We might as well just wait until they break apart or something. So, the Papal State's a possibility. We can't take much from them in any case. Great Britain's always a possibility, but we do want to make some more claims. And Spain is a possibility, would also like to make more claims. Zimbabwe, if the truce runs out, which it looks like it has, so that might even be a better option. But in any case, we will decide that next time, so I will leave it there for now. And thank you for watching.